Okay, once you have started uh, or created your project, we're just going to go ahead and run it one time real quick. Make sure it runs, which it does. Go ahead and stop it. Let's make some changes to the site style. Go ahead and go over to our layout. Double click. Make some changes. I'm going to go ahead and change my title. There's a lot of stuff in here we can change. You can change this to whatever you want. I'm just using it based on uh, the college that I'm currently uh, teaching at. We do need to add a couple uh, menus, menu items, and get rid of uh, contact for right now. Let's go ahead. I'm going to copy and paste this. And go ahead and just copy exactly what you see here. Go ahead and pause it if you need time to type out each of those four new menu items. I'm going to go down here and change this to me. And then we're going to modify the main startup page ever so slightly. Again, there's quite a bit of content that we can copy here or modify. It's up to you how much you want to change. We'll go ahead and change this to sp.net.net core 2.0 razor application. And what this is, these are uh, basically carousel images. They slide in and out uh, in a timed manner. So you can actually have multiple pieces of content. Object based on a college data system. Application is hosted in Microsoft Azure. At least it will be by the time we're done with the course. Go ahead and run the project. And make sure that you have your menu items. Again, we don't have the pages available for those menu items just yet, but that's what we're going to be building. And uh, you can see that the content has been added as well. Okay, that's it for now. And next we will be doing the data models within C-sharp.